Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome. So we're here today with episode 12 of Mobile Suit Gundam Zeta. I love it. Zeta. Zeta. So, um, yeah, 12 episodes in. Um, and and as, as I've been saying, like I'm, I'm enjoying it more and more. It wasn't like bad at the beginning, but now it's like getting really good. So I'm like just like excited to see, you know, and, and I just want to see how it continues um really and you know where we're going from here so i'm just very excited to you know just continue so with that said though ladies and gentlemen let's continue so we're gonna get started in three two one as you all know my reactions are all full length so if you don't watch along you know get your footage sync it along with the timer down here bah, 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 bah. Mm -hmm. i don't know why i'm using like a bear thing it's called that it's really just you know a beard beard thing but i'm actually using it for my hair because my hair is very soft um unlike most hairs mine is like extremely soft like it doesn't it might not look like it but it's much softer than like most people's hairs and i guess that's because i'm mixed race so my hair just has a like, kind of a different property um which is why this actually works extremely well <laughs> And it helps with my bit because I don't know. You, it is like or just on the, it's just on this side, not on this side, but just on this side. There's like, as you can see, just a tiny little spot where it doesn't fully connect. But with that, you can kind of just you know mask it, and then hopefully it like actually grows and grows and you know fulfills it, completes it. Anyway, that's enough of that. I might get myself a haircut though, just a little shape up. Yeah, does it matter? I don't think it matters too much. I don't think it matters too much. <sighs> the winds of Jabudo. Jabudo, cuzzy. I know that much. I was singing that like two days ago, all day. <laughs> Yesterday as well, all day. Just singing. Who cares if it's one sided though, to be fair? Ooh, 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 ooh. You know, I don't know what it is about this show. Sometimes it has like this. It still ha it still has the sixties. Like right now, it's like looking like the original Gundam show from like the you know sixties. And then sometimes it looks like something that came out in like two thousand and ten. Like that's how good it looks. I don't want to say like inconsistent art style, but sometimes it does feel a lot crisper. And I don't know why it sometimes feels that way and sometimes it doesn't. But it does, it does feel that way, <laughs> for like a bad term, honestly. <laughs> uh. And I get it, obviously, different animators and different, uh, you know, directors, so on and so forth, makes, you know, a different show, but still. Billy Benzino said no. I don't know, sometimes I just feel like that shield shouldn't do much. Because if it can pierce through the armor, it can pierce through the shield. You know what I mean? 
That's why sometimes I just think like maybe increasing the uh, maneuverability and mobility is better than. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I just feel like sometimes it's just better to like focus on the mobility rather than on the shield because the shield would be as tough as the shield would be as tough as you know the actual armor. So like, don't get hit rather than get hit but block. If that makes sense. I hope I get my point across. It can be sometimes difficult to get your point across while paying attention. And listening to this great OST. You know I'm a sucker for great OST. Always have been, always will be. My man's like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you starting to feel sorry for them. Okay. Damn, son. My man is on a killing spree. I don't know if I should be you know, proud of my boy, but <laughs> that's just the truth. Okay. It's not just the people, it's the environment as well. It's not just the people. Oh shit, no. <laughs> That's fucking brutal. Oh, that was. There was just no need for that. Why show us that as well? Damn. <laughs> I mean, it is the horrors of war. It is the horrors of war, but I still feel like, bro, this is just. This is th that was unnecessary. Oh, my man surfing serves up, serves up. You know I love the Glockenspiel OST. My man still surfing like eh, uh, eh, uh, eh. Uh. Uh, uh. Yeah, they got they got screwed. I ain't gonna lie. He's not gonna make it out in time, is he? Nope. Believe in sign of Saturn. Da -da -da. Man, the OST in this show, including the opening and the ending, is just top notch. Top notch. The fact that like even outside, like even when I'm done recording, I still sing the o the opening. That 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 says it all. Like I probably won't put the opening in like my top ten favorite openings or anything of that sort, but it's just a great opening. Not like a you know top tier opening, but just a great one. Then you combine it with all the OST, it just makes for a show having just great music in general. Does that make uh, uh, yeah, that makes sense? Like I don't think any of, of the music is like top tier, but I think all the music is just great. There's been nothing that has been bad, if that makes sense. It makes sense. Why do I always say if that makes sense? It makes sense. Obviously, it makes sense. I'm saying it. How more difficult? <laughs> We're moving. <laughs> We're moving. We're leaving. Garudas. Corrections. The fact that the the fact that they're even just like, oh yeah, ha, ha, that was a good thing. I'm just like, bro, I 
I'm looking. You're looking. I'm not Kamea. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Mr. Nuta. Neurotype. He's too obsessed. Way too obsessed. Just a knockoff. Jeesh! You're about to feel the wrath. Well, he felt the wrath of a knockoff. Why would he lie? Why, like, like, my thought would just be like, why would he lie? Like, why would he? Exactly. Just, just take him out, capture him. You know, nobody can leave that way. He, he can't, he can't leave that way. And if he's wrong. I kill him afterwards if he's right. He just saved all of you and himself. I mean, he didn't save himself, but you know, because he's still, still going to be captured. But you know, <laughs> he saved his life. Damn. Now nah, he's way too focused on revenge. He's. It doesn't do shit. <laughs> it doesn't even need to shield. Oh no. Right down into the abyss. Don't tell me he's gonna shoot the nuke. Okay, no. I I thought he's gonna shoot and hit the nuke. Da -da -da. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite Gundam show? Let me know. Oh, honestly, let me know. There's been a lot of, like, different Gundam shows as well, so I can definitely feel like a lot of people will have different um, favourites. Obsessed. Not good enough, eh? <laughs> Not good enough, eh? Meanwhile, Camille, the new type, he's not chilling. Well, you know, he's still kicking. Ah, oh, damn it, Camille doesn't know. Only if we go now. Twenty minutes. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You, you, hey, if you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. They're gone. <laughs> They're gone. Ain't nobody waiting. If only he's dead, bro. It's 
so much for that. So much for that. He won't hear it. You should tell them there's a nuclear explosion going on. Like, don't just say ev evacuate. State the reason why. Alright. <laughs> Alright. He gone. How much time have they got? Like they, they said twenty minutes until they escape. But like, how much time realistically have they got? I'd still shout my lungs out. Exactly. I'd be screaming and kicking and shouting and flipping. And... Nah. <laughs> so easy. Let's just do it. Suck. Go. <laughs> Do I have time for all this? Hurry up. There we go. And he's just like, it goes out, it's like, yo. You look young, man. You look young, man. <laughs> like, like, the way you just came out there, just like, leans on the wall, just like, hello. I'm so cool. You gotta get out of there! Nuke! Out of here, quick. <laughs> Ten minutes to get away from a nuke site. At those Gundams are fast as flip. What do you mean if you're lucky? Damn. Every month for themselves. Everyone. All right, he's got a new, he's got a new girl now. Ah, <laughs> oh, straight up, bro. How big is a nuke site? Isn't it like two no, two kilometers? Wouldn't be enough. It's like twenty kilometers. Ten minutes. You better drive, so you better start driving, yo. You better start driving quick, bro. <laughs> you better hope you've got like a Bugatti or something, bro. <laughs> I don't know how big a blast radius of a nuke typically is. 
but I'm thinking I think it's like you know 20 kilometers like I thought two but two doesn't sound that big I mean it's massive of course don't get me wrong but I think it's like between 10 and 20 and that's futuristic ones as well so we're talking about we're talking about maybe like 30 30 kilometer blast radius There is no way. Okay. I am sorry. There is no way you could actually jump. Like, there's no way you could jump, you know, while traveling at those kind of speeds. This isn't. You are on Superman. They're not about to kill him off, of all people. That would never happen. I'm, I'm sure of it. Alright. <laughs> that was a bit dramatic. <laughs> that was a, a lit, not just a little. That was very extra. <laughs> that was a very, very extra. These guys are dead. That you are dead. They even told you about the nukes and you still just stood there. How big is that? Look at that blast. And that, the thing is, it's not just the blast radius. The shockwave that comes along with it and everything else. I don't get how, how they made it this far. <laughs> if I'm being honest, alright? You had 10 minutes to get out of there. You're not making it. Mm. What's he saying? As I said, the squad is like. I, I man, I'm sorry. I don't know how he got away from that. That's the big. That's the big thing to me. Like that's a nuke, all right. You know what? Nuclear bomb. Blast radius. It was like this one. There was like this. Is it nuke map? Nucleosecrecy.com. Yes, it is. Nucleosecrecy.com. I, I, I was looking for this. You know, basically, like, how big would a thing be? If um, if a nuke landed somewhere, let's go with. I know you guys can't see my screen. Just trust me. Just trust me right now. Right? I, I, to be fair, I thought the blast radius would be a lot bigger, but but um, you know we'll, we'll just go with the city that I'm currently in, Manchester. Okay, enter a yield in kilotons. It's like, we're going to just choose the Tsar Bomba, all right? The Tsar Bomba, the 100 MT, whatever. I'm just here for that. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm going to show you something. I don't know if I've got the screen set up correctly, but hopefully it's this one. Yes. 
you see this, right? This is the Zab Bomber. Currently, the biggest uh, bomb, the biggest nuclear bomb that humans have built, all right? Now, Gundam is in the future. <laughs> Gundam is in the future. And this is the last radius of the Zab Bomber. Now, I, uh, just for reference sake, right? I'm not going to show you exactly where I live. But just for reference sake... Let's just say I live about here, all right? Just for reference sake, I live about here. I know you guys can't see it that well, but I live about here. To get to town, which is like right here, is about, I wanna say two kilometers. So already you can see, just right here, fireball radius, 6.1 kilometers. Moderate blast radius, 32.6 kilometers. Thermal radiation radius, 73. Light blast damage radius, 91. I'm not getting away for shit, bro. <laughs> like, like, I'm not getting anywhere, all right? I am not getting anywhere. I'm dying in this one, right? I, I said, there's no way I'm living this. This is making it all the way to Liverpool. Nottingham, I, I still wouldn't be safe. Like, like this is, uh, this, that's how crazy this is, all right? Like, just for comparison, I know the UK isn't, like, a massive, massive, but just for comparison, right? You've got, you can see, you know, how big that is. If I go over to America, like, you know, it's not small, all right? It's not small. I, I, I wouldn't just be A-OK -okay fine, all right? So... I'm seeing that. I'm just like, bro, I'm, we're dying. <laughs> bro, we're dying. No, I, it doesn't matter if I've got the Garuda. It doesn't matter if I've got, well, yeah, if I've got a, a Blackbird, okay, I'd, I would get away. But like, hey, <laughs> like realistically, like, come on, what am I going to do? Like, re what realistically, what am I going to do? Blackbird, okay, I'm getting away. You could drop a nuke and I'd probably still get away. You know? you could, I, the Blackbird could drop the nuke and probably would be able to get away just in time. Because I believe like the Blackbird is like Mach 2. Uh, so if you've got if you've got something at Mach two, you know you, you're you're going in the thousands of I don't actually how fast is Mach two, but I, it's like in the thousands, isn't it? It's like I think Mach one is like seven hundred, so Mach two would be like uh, a thousand four, thousand five ish uh, in kilometers per hour. Uh, no, you're looking at two four, so Mach two is at around two four. You're getting away. Like, like uh, uh, nuclear bomb. Ah, come on. That's not, that's a, that's a child's game. 73 kilometers. Ta that's a child's game. 100 kilometers. Ha, that's a child's game. I'm getting away. I'm safe. But yeah, I mean, they, I don't see how they could bake it. Because <laughs> that's not like a passenger ship, right? The Garuda's like a passenger ship. In 10 minutes? Nah, I'm sorry. I know I'm like half going about the logic, but you know, I'm a logic person if you haven't noticed so far. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I had a lot of fun with this episode. And I hope you'd like had a lot of fun with my reaction to it but i will see all of you in the next one everyone until then have a nice day peace out and as always bye